Hello, I'm Charlotte Collins and this is The Sherlock Show. This is the last show of 2022 and we are going full on Christmas. Anna Bromelow is sharing her outfits for during the festive period. Sherry and Heather are taste testing mince pies. Lisa Potter-Dixon is making over a Sherlock's reader for her Christmas party. And we spend a day with Laura, who hits the shops looking for last minute gifts. But first, I'm joined by Laura Black, Polly Sayer, and new friend of Sherlock's, the very fabulous beauty and fashion editor, director, Billy Bashia. Welcome, Billy. Thank you very much, Anne. So nice to have you. You've come on quite a good one. I yeah, feel like if there's a yeah. day to come. Great it's, day. It's a good day. <laughs> um, Merry Christmas, everyone. We've got some bubbles. I feel like this is going to be, this is the theme. We did this on the podcast last week. Yeah. So this yeah. week, where are we? Um, so we're going to crack open some bubbles. It's not even 12, but <laughs> yeah. it's Christmas. Know, it's five o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Well, exactly. God, it's not, I don't think it's even 11, is it? What time is it? Um, how are you guys feeling? Ready for Christmas? Billy, what are your Christmas plans? Uh, I am going back up to my parents. Um, my sister got married this year, so she is with her in-laws. And I've got all my cousins coming and... Oh, um, yeah, we're really fun. Really yeah. fun. So, so nice. Big food, big quiz. Big quiz. Who hosts yeah. the quiz? Yeah. I do. Do you? Ooh. Do you yeah. write the quiz? Yeah, I do, yeah. Oh my Has God, I'd love started? to do one of your quizzes. No, no. I do, normally do it on Christmas Eve. Ooh, pressure. And oh, pressure. Oh, right. <laughs> you write it on Christmas, <laughs> Christmas Eve. <laughs> um, and my quiz skill is that I don't write Ooh, the answers. Really? I just have to remember them. Oh, okay. <laughs> you did say, you did say oh, this might happen. I said the pressure. I got quite cocky, but anyway. <laughs> Um, oh, that is so. I was going to say you could send around your Christmas quiz because then no one else has to write one. But Christmas Eve is cutting it quite. Hard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. um, I, can, I can send it to you. <laughs> Polly, what are your plans? I'm going to my in-laws this year, which will be fun. And the plan is to try and get in the sea on Christmas Day. Yes, that's what I want to do. I want to do that New Year's Day. Oh, I'm quite nervous about it. I should try to do it last year, but the weather was so terrible. So yeah. I'm hoping. I don't for think like... it's going to be too cold. Okay, we well that's good. I, like, I couldn't not, have done like, that cool. last week. Like wet and windy is a hard no from me. Oh, oh thank cool. you so much. Um, thank so you. that's the plan. I mean, thank good you. luck. Cheers. 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 Well, at least you've got a dry robe Cheers. as well. That's lucky. <laughs> My bloody dry robe that never gets used. Polly, <laughs> like... don't underestimate the dry robe. I know <laughs> well, you're Christmas not a fan. Christmas. It was, it was a, a glamorous Christmas. My husband Christmas. once, and like he was like, when we go surfing, you can wear it. I'm like, I never go surfing. He tries to get me to wear it to the pub when it's been figured out. I'm like, have you met me? No. That's very funny. Laura, Christmas plans? I'm with my family. Lovely. Yeah. Can you it? Yeah, I am, actually. I feel like I'm slightly crawling to the end. Um... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Kids ready? Kids are ready. They're pumped. They're excited. Sweet. Yeah, we're off to Lapland UK on Friday. Oh my god! Which oh, no way! Yeah, yeah. yeah. really fun. UK. I know. Apparently, it's mega. Never been. It's where you never had to. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Got yeah. We did think we um, should reflect a little bit on the year that's been, didn't we? COVID. Let's forget about COVID because it's you know. It's mu there's much better things to talk about, aren't there? Mm. So what, I want to know what, what kind of stood out for you this year. What were kind of, I mean, the highlights were like the most memorable things. Mm. Laura? I know it's obvious, but it's Queen. Like, Queen. It feels so different going in. I heard somebody read something the other day about standing for the King's speech. Mm. It was sort of like, it was a bit of a, <laughs> God, yeah. how weird, she's not here. I yeah. don't know, yeah. And what, and like how amazingly well as a country we celebrated her yeah I it was it was quite special wasn't yeah. it Billy that was one of your moments yeah, of the year as well it was it? I think I, I think it took her death to sort of reflect on how amazing a woman she was aside from being part of the royal family yeah. and I think cause, like she's just this constant isn't she that's just always there and you kind of don't you pay her some attention but mm. not like every day yeah and so obviously that was so concentrated and you were like wow she's really done amazing things um as as a woman and as a leader and all the fashion, like the look back at her life in fashion was, you yeah, know, that yeah, was really amazing. amazing. Yeah, it really was. It yeah. really was. Yeah. Polly, anything that stood out this year for you? I think for me, the Lioness is winning the year. Yeah, that was yeah. such yeah. a highlight. I was like, I've got a really terrible memory, so I had to go back a bit. And then I was like, oh, I remember that being, I felt so emotional about yeah. it. I'm really proud to be a woman. And like, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not super into football necessarily, but I think it was the way we all kind of collectively got behind them yeah. and were like, yeah, women's sport deserves to be taken seriously. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I think that was definitely one of my personal yeah, highlights. Yeah, damn right. And, that's, and hopefully it continues. And what's, I don't know her name because I didn't watch it, but the one who won... Jill. I'm a celeb. Yeah. Jill. Yes. <laughs> Jill. Well, I mean, that's up helping. last yeah. night on the coming out party from I'm a celeb. I was quite caught up on I'm a celeb, Laura. I was like, it finished about a month ago. There's a lot to catch up on. <laughs> I was quite, I got quite into it you and did. I watched it last night. And yay her. Yeah, She's so, so cool. good. Yeah. She? Well, She's yeah. very cool. It was good timing by them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, 
I can't believe, I don't know about you guys, that the Ukraine invasion of, was only this year. Like, wow. Trauma, really? You know, they've obviously been covering it. And yeah, it's February. It feels like a lifetime. I, it doesn't. Yeah. It? I know it's crazy. And they were, you know, they've been talking about how Christmas last year, obviously, in Ukraine was like entirely normal. Yeah. And I mean, that is just so wild to think. But actually, I like, I'm going to give a shout out to my parents, actually, because they adopted a Ukrainian. Um, oh, wow. Adopted. I mean, he's a, he's a 22 year old guy. <laughs> yeah. um, but he's been living with them for about four months. And so we're having quite a Ukrainian Christmas here. Oh, Some of his friends from Mariupol. Um, and quite a few of his friends are joining us for Christmas oh, Day. That's so that was really yeah. nice. So obviously terribly, terribly sad. Um, and God, we hope that next year they can be back home. But yeah. looking forward to giving them a nice Christmas. All right, thank you everyone. Now, if you are in need of a bit of a style inspo for the festive season, Anna Bromelo is here and she has you covered. She has put together some amazing outfits for Christmas Eve, for Christmas Day, Boxing Day and New Year's Eve and the bit in between as well. So take a look. Hi, I'm Anna Bromelo and I'm here with Shilux today to talk to you about festive style. I'm going to show you all the key looks that I'll be wearing over the festive period. It is such a fun time of year to get dressed up. I love playing with rich colour and texture and I do go quite traditional and themed with my general look. So let's explore. First look is a proper full-on party dress. The kind of thing I would wear for Christmas Eve. Scarlet satin, you can't get more festive than this. I am so obsessed with this dress. It's by the brand by Melina. It's a good price point for a pretty sensational cocktail dress. I love the fact that it's a bit shorter. It's really nice to get the legs out. I have put some fun polka dot tights on. Polka dot tights kind of dress everything up and give your Christmas look a really nice polished, fun finish. Because it's a bit shorter, I've put on some um, platforms with a slightly more stable heel. I think that balances out the length really nicely. I'm obsessed with these exaggerated, very pretty shoulders. I love the neckline, it's got a nicely cinched in waist. With it, I've put really beautiful Baroque style jewellery from Soru Jewellery. I really love their pieces. You can see these are gorgeous crucifix style earrings and I've got a couple of necklaces as well so my favourite festive party look all put together. I am planning on styling out my Christmas morning in my pyjamas. Who, who has time when you're prepping a turkey to fully get dressed? Certainly not me. So I think it's a really fab idea to get on your most gorgeous pyjamas the night before and then style them out the next morning. I love this set by Hesper Fox, which is a very pretty uh, pink and red stripe in satin. And also the double-breasted nature of it just makes it a little bit more formal and wearable as a day co-ord or night co-ord set. And I've jazzed it up with this uh, gorgeous sequin headband just from Accessorize. I don't think I'd be wearing mega heels like this to pot around the kitchen in, but if I were to team it with a pair of heels and went out in the evening, these would be the, the perfect mega heels to wear. These are velvet magenta platforms from Aquazura. I just think it's a fun, kind of lazy, loungy, luxe way to start your Christmas day. Christmas day itself, and for me, it's all about tradition, and there's nothing I love wearing more than a tartan dress. There are quite a few plaid options out there at the moment, but my favorite by far is this beautiful maxi prairie number by Beulah. It's made out of an almost kind of cheesecloth-y soft fabric. I think being comfortable on Christmas day really is important. I've given it a bit of extra definition with this uh, black bow belt, and you could easily put on an argyle knit over the top to sit by the fire. I've also added a pair of really fun crystal bauble earrings by Aquazura, but this is exactly the kind of thing I'm intending on wearing for Christmas afternoon. Boxing day, and I'm still very much into tartan. I just found this great coat from Ted Baker. I've been looking for a wearable, but statement tartan coat forever. And just found this one. I love the fact that it's quite plain and understated at the back. It gives it a really nice bit of quality. So this is the kind of thing I would wear on Boxing Day with my flat, chunky boots, the knitwear, the roll necks are out, just feeling a bit more cosy, a bit more relaxed. But this coat really is my Boxing Day statement piece. And for New Year's Eve, another great party look. I'm going for all black with 
crystal accents. This is not actually a dress, it's a two-piece by a lovely small brand called Spirit and Grace and it's in a very uh, soft velvet with a pretty lace trim, which I love. I like the fact this skirt is a bit longer, has this lovely slit up the front, so it's nice and flattering. I've just put, it's a really old, I'm sorry, it's an old jacket uh, by Paula Joe, which is beaded over the top and some great sandals by Zara with a pretty diamond toe detailing and a bit of a red lip because you just can't go wrong for party season with a red lip. This is how I would see the new year in. So that is it. That is my roundup of festive Christmas looks for the up and coming season. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hot just written in the order queue here. Uh, so how amazing is that red dress? Very Mrs. Claus vibes. I'm not sure <laughs> that's exactly what Anna Bromley was going for. But anyway, we'll, we'll go with it. Um, Christmas Day, Christmas Day fashion. What do you guys wear, Billy? Is it is it a dress up occasion in your house? It is, yeah. It is a dress up. It's a pajama party in the morning and then a dress up in the afternoon. Is it snazzy pajamas in the morning? Mm, it can be. It yeah. can be. I think I'm really the only one that pushes that boat. Everyone else is like, <laughs> I'm bored of things. Um, but I like, you know, like a festive hair, a velvet bow, Cute. maybe a bit of a red lip, mm. a big, nice. and, you know, a big earring. It's a jazzing up of a... Yeah. Have a dress or yeah. have a trousers or nice. something. You've got to be something com comfy. Yeah, yeah. So, Uggs yeah. always on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Okay. Keep, keep the fiddle to the table. <laughs> um, Polly, will you be dressing up? What will you be wearing? I don't really dress up for Christmas Day. I like never really grew up with a family that did that. So I remember sort of becoming an adult and people were like, oh, no, what are you wearing on Christmas Day? And I was like, a tracksuit. Like, <laughs> isn't that what everyone wears? Um, to be honest, with you, yeah, I'd, I think I'd feel a bit out of place if I got like dressed to the nines because everyone would be like, what are you doing? So it will be something elasticated so I <laughs> yeah. can go ham on the buffet. Is it basically. super casual? Is it like no makeup, hair and a bun vibes? I'd put makeup on mm -hmm. um, and like, you know, maybe do my hair, but I do that every day. So yeah. <laughs> it's not that special. Um, no, maybe I would like put something like a nice top on for the dinner. <laughs> jeans and a nice top. Jeans and a nice <laughs> top. Fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, um, yeah. what are you going to be wearing? I'm kind of, I'm a bit like you, like jazz up something. It's it's kind of nice earrings with mm. a pony neck and some jeans yeah. or... Yeah, yeah, but comfort. Yeah, yeah. I, I think feel like there's a lot of running around. There's, I can't oh. be. Yeah, it can't be. I, like, I don't have. When you have, don't have children, there's not that much running around. I think. <laughs> I don't think. I mean, you were talking about doing a hundred steps. Yeah, yeah, five yeah, steps. Five <laughs> steps on Christmas Day. Yeah, I did not plan on moving. from the fresh. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, we couldn't. We had to reflect on fashion over the year as well. Um, really, you talked about the Queen. I mean, what else? What have been your fashion highlights of 2022? Um, I think the Valentino show sort of set the tone for this year in February when he when um, Pia Paolo did his like the pink everything show yeah. and it was just really joyful and like, and not I know we're not mentioning pandemic but just like a blip <laughs> mentioned um, you know it was really nice to see like joyful fashion again this year and not just purposeful fashion and just mm. clothes for the sake of getting dressed up. Um, and I think, you know, the red carpets have been very fun this year. Zendaya just cannot mm -hmm. put a foot wrong. Yeah, like, yeah kind of agreed. Um, agreed. So, yeah, no, there's my highlight. It's also like the, the perfect shade of pink, isn't it? It's, yeah. Pink. Exactly. Like, there's, there's, there's lots of copycat pinks out there, but yeah. it's just something about that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Power, yeah, yeah, yeah. That really kills it. Polly, what has been your fashion highlight of the year? I don't know about my highlight, but I definitely have a person Do that tell. is really giving, has been giving. I think it's Dua Lipa. I just think yes, of every yeah. 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 aspect. Yes. She is... I don't know, she kind of has fun with it and all her tour outfits have been incredible. She wears a lot of like cat suits. I mean, she's obviously got this like incredible bod, but like, you know, I think they're all super fun. I want to wear them. There's this one kind of like black and white sort of contrast mesh, oh, black, yeah. whatever. And yeah. man, she looks so cool. Also what she wore to Simon Port Jacquemus wedding. Yes. Oh, yeah, that was yeah, mega, mega. Oh, so good. I mean, I know everyone got to wear white, but she just looked like an angel. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. She's really hot, but not in a like. I really fancy in, like, her. Yeah, in like a <laughs> cool <laughs> so way. So it's, it's annoying. Yeah. 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 Um, Laura, who's, what's been your style moment? Or style mine was like more of a moment. So mine was Bella Hadid when she had the dress. Yes, Caperny show. Caperny. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Do you, can I tell you, sorry, I read about that this morning. Do you know what that generated in ad revenue for the brand? Oh $26.3 million <gasps> wow. in ad space. Wow. It was insane. I watched it again this morning as well. And I actually think it's more insane the second time I've watched yes, it. Incredible. Like it is really 
how cool that you can do that. And then off she went. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh my God, yeah. amazing. And I've seen some copycat versions with like shaving cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It yeah. took to Twitter. Like, like, you got to spray fabric. I think, I think Not spraying fun. fabric is good. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I want to give a shout out to the men this year. Okay. Harry yeah. Styles. I mean, we talk about Harry Styles all the time. I know it's a divider in the comment section, but I mean, whatever you think of him, he's, it's been a fashion moment, mm -hmm. hasn't yeah, it? And, and Timothy Chalamet as yeah. well. Yeah. He's been killing it this year. He the, doesn't go wrong. He you doesn't know, go so. wrong. And, you know, again, kind of whatever you think, it was the Haltonek, Hader Ackerman. Oh my God, yes. You know, at Venice yeah. vibe. Like, I mean, he's just cool. He's yeah. just so cool. So it's been a year for the boys. Yeah. So, okay. um, all right, now Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without a mince pie, whether you have them warm or cold with cream or without, they are an absolute must. Hodge's words again, not mine. Uh, Sherry and Heather have done all the hard work for you when it comes to the best and they have tried and tested all of the high street options out there. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it, do you? Hello and welcome to the latest of Heather and Sherry in the kitchen together. It's nearly Christmas, so we've decided to taste test some of the best mince pies on the market. And we've got a lovely range, all different price points. So we're gonna go for the little one first. I think the pie to pastry ratio on this is really good. So mm. I need to put the disclaimer out here that I'm not the biggest mince pie fan. See, I'm the like opposite. It. I probably have at least five a day over the festive period. Really? Oh five. yeah, no exaggerations. Mm. So for me, it can't be too sweet yep. or too claggy and the pastry has to be cooked enough that it's a little bit crisp yep. and not falling mm. apart. Right, let's go. This one's quite sweet I would say mm. but I do like how the filling is not too chunky, it's quite smooth. Having gone on about the pastry, it's probably not the best pastry. It's quite, yeah. you mentioned claggy before, it's mm. like already sort of sticking to the roof of my mouth. So Heather, what would you give this one out of 10? 6.5, might mm. be a bit mean, but I don't know, I, I just feel like there are better ones yeah. to come. I would actually give this one a, a seven. Okay. Yeah, excellent start. I think there's room for improvement though. Yeah. So we're going in price order. So the next one we're trying is from Sainsbury's and it's a taste of difference mince pie. With oh, 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 okay. Okay, that has truly crumbled in one. Right, let's uh, attempt to okay. eat this daintily. Mm. <laughs> mm. See already, that's mm. so much nicer flavour-wise and texture-wise. Yeah. Out of Oh, I don't know, because like if I was eating it with my eyes closed and it hadn't crumbled everywhere, it'd be yeah. a solid eight and a half. Mm. But I'm gonna have to knock. <laughs> knock a point off. Knock a point off for it being very messy, so it's gonna have to be 7.5 for me. I would give this a seven. Okay. Again, it just crumbled. If you're having it in your hand, it's a very messy thing to eat. Flavour was there, but the overall texture I think could be improved. So next up we've got Waitrose. They're new this year and mm -hmm. people have rated them extremely highly. Right, the crumble factor on this is already impressing me. There's a big pocket at the front though. I so. was about to reference that pocket. Yeah, it's not yeah. filled to the brim. But Considering the flavour, the innards aren't my favourite bit. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> You're here for me. the pastry, I'm here for the filling clearly. Let's go for it. Mm. <laughs> It's really grown up. It's Agreed. got all the festive flavours you want. But mm. Bit of extra, mm. exactly. Really buttery. The quality is there, you can tell. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. I think that was really good. Ooh. What about you? I'm going to go 8.5. Yeah, it's got the nice crumbly pastry without it sort of falling all over the place. It does. Best so far for me. Agreed, best so far. So next we've got some little ones from Cartwright and Butler. These are better be good because they're very expensive and very mm. small. No. Sorry, just no. Mm, I quite but, like it. This is so dry. <laughs> I would say, because it's cranberry and orange, mm. I quite like that because I don't love raisins. So that's okay. quite nice. But I don't think they taste festive enough. Like the actual filling, it's, I'm sorry, this is just very dry. You would mm. need um, several glasses of mulled wine to wash this down. <laughs> Go on then, what are you giving it? Okay, I'm gonna give this a three and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's harsh. The flavor is not there, it's dry. I'd be disappointed if I actually <laughs> bought these from the shop. I'm gonna be more generous. I'm gonna mm. like maybe a five and a quarter. <laughs> okay. Because that pastry for me was lovely. Yeah. I liked the, the flavors, but yeah, it wasn't festive at all. No. Nice, but not. Not no, the nicest today, not quite, I'd not, say. Not so you've probably seen these in Gales. They've been there for a good few years now, and they've got that really distinctive sort of crunchy looking top. Mm. They've got all that nice caramelization of the sugar. Yeah. Looking forward to trying this. However, however, ooh, however, however, they're 14 pounds. Yeah. For six, that's very expensive. That's a lot. It is. So we have high expectations. We do. Shall we? Yeah, let's go let's in there. Go. Ooh. Oh, it smells nice. It does. 
<laughs> you don't like it, do you? The first mouthful, I was like, this is wild for £14. Mm. To me, it's just a little bit overcooked. And I know that's what they're going for. I was about to it take mine taste a bit burnt. Burnt, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I didn't say burnt, but it's burnt. I don't know if it, maybe it's a bad batch. The little ones, in my opinion, were a lot better than this. And for a tenth of the price, Yeah. Come on. Heather, what would you give this one? I think it's going to have to be a two or a Ooh, three. Okay, Only yeah. because, well, mine didn't have very much filling in at all. Mm. And then the outside bit was all burnt which is just yeah. kind of a bit unforgivable, which I feel really mean saying because I really like Gales normally. Yeah, I would agree. Let's give this one a two. A lot of improvement to be had there. Yeah, what nice thing can I say? No, nothing, really. Oh dear. So, I think we have to shout out Lidl. Yep. They were, in my opinion, the best value. They were good. However, on the taste test, Waitrose by far. Right, Sherry, it's Christmas in a couple of days. It so is. yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have a good one. You too. And see you next year. Thank you, girls. That was so joyful. I actually I did quite well, and I did sit in on the filming of that, so I got to do my own personal Lucky taste you. test, and I can <laughs> confirm that the waitress ones were they look so good. superior. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. That, I mean, we all love mince. Well, not everyone loves mince pies. I love mince pies. There are <laughs> things. <laughs> there are things that people love about Christmas, and then there are things that people don't like so much as well. So I want to know what are your love hates about the festive period, Polly. I just love it all. I was really struggling to things that I don't like about Christmas. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm a real like from. I mean, even November this year, I, was, I had my tree and up. you went early, didn't you? I went well. really early. I know, I used to be a like, 1st of December girl. Um, but no, it's everything about it, all the parties, all the dressing up, eating great food, seeing your friends, seeing your family. Everyone's in a really great mood. I feel mm. like everyone's kinder to each other around the Christmas period. Yeah. Um, but in terms of what I don't like, I think the only thing is, is when I have to spend Christmas with my other half's family and they don't open any presents until like the afternoon. Oh, that's I'm like, ridiculous. I'm like, what are we waiting what for? We're for? all thinking about the presents. What? Like over there. what are they doing in the morning? <laughs> Nothing in the morning. Well, like I think me and that might give each other a little something. Yeah, but, like, but why don't they do it in the morning? I don't know. Well, we this have is to it. wait. Like, why are we not until, opening it? Until when? Yeah, we'll do like little things in the morning, but, but you why? have to wait for your bigger presents. Yeah, but what are we why? waiting for? Why? waiting for what? Well, I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> right, <laughs> we, you need to give this more thought. That's Maybe horrible. I need to change that tradition. Why? I just, I do, it just, you know, it spreads it out. You've oh got no. something to look forward to. Oh, but like, they are really I'll see you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and then you get to bask in your presence. Yeah, all day. You sit there in like the scarf you got. Yeah, yeah. 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 I love that. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, that sounds awful. I think you should change that. I know, what was me? Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, Billy, what do you love about Christmas and what do you hate? Um, I, I, I'm kind of with Polly. I love the whole lead up. Like, December's the best month. It's such a party month. Everyone's in a good mood. No one's really doing that much work. Mm. Um, I overcommit though. That's my problem. Mm -hmm. I just want to go to every party. And yeah, every it's, it's hurting a bit at this point. Isn't <laughs> yeah. It? yeah. Um, and what I I hate mince pies. Oh, whoa! Okay. Whoa, <laughs> Nelly. Do you know what I used to hate mince pies, and I feel like I've grown up a bit now. I like them. <laughs> wow, that was shady. I feel like I'm now an adult. Come on, Come on. I'm not that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All mince pies. I don't like anything that tastes like Christmas. I know oh, what you're doing. Like I used to be no, exactly the same. No, I still don't like that. Christmas pudding. No, can't do Christmas pudding. It's or fruit and cinnamon. Or wine. Okay. It's too alcoholic. It's too, it's too adult. I'm just yeah, adult. too adult. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not <laughs> <there>. <laughs> One day. One day. Laura, what do you love? Um, well, same. Sort of. I actually think I have a love hate with the run up. I'm mm. finding the pressure at the moment quite full on. I have an awful lot of people to buy for. I sort of don't know if I'm loving it or if I'm hating that I've still got so much to do. Mm. But if you took it away from me, I think I'd miss it. Yeah, I get do you know yeah. what I mean? Um, I don't love the germs. I feel like there's a lot <laughs> the of germs flying around. I feel like yeah. everyone is. The December the germs. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. I thought you meant on the day. I was um, like, the sharing <laughs> parties or something? Like, <laughs> it's a turkey thing. In the run-up. Yeah. Um, but then after, I love Boxing Day. I love the chill. Yeah. I love the silence of like emails and contact okay. from yeah. other people and the fact that you can kind of hibernate. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, well, the thing you love is the thing I hate. I hate the days after Christmas. I find them so... We talked a bit about this yeah. on the podcast this week. Um, but I find them really... I hate that. Like, some people love that. Oh, I don't know what day it is. And you just said... I just... I like don't like that at all yeah. I, think I need to like go away and do things and yeah. I feel like I'm you like to be busy that. don't you I do quite and like I to be busy like yeah. when you're not but I we're mean, so busy all the time I know I know but busy in your own time is different to busy at work so yeah, okay. you know um, so that's that but the thing I love is also Christmas movies oh, yeah. Yeah. when I say I, I think I've blitzed I think I've done them all although then I, then I like go on to Prime and then there'll be another one I'm like oh my god I can't <laughs> the pressure. Keep up. 
Okay, I watched this weekend Spirited, which is oh, the... Yeah. Is that with a horse? No, no, oh. no. No, it's much my brother. <laughs> this is... Um, that's Spirited Away, and I think that's oh. quite... Like, that's like a something else. This is the new Will Ferrell, um, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, oh yeah. Is it good? Musical. I loved it. Oh, wow. Really? That's it's, a it hit. is. If you like, you'll only like it if you really like a musical because it is a, I musical. Love a musical. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. I listened to the soundtrack on my way here. It How was, do I find it? Uh, Apple. Apple TV. Great. It was so good. And then the other one that um, Ben enjoyed more than me, he cried at the end of, was oh. Something from Tiffany's, which okay. is about um, a Tiffany ring that gets mixed up with. Oh, I started watching that. Really. Deep, deep in emotion. Anyway, emotion. I love the films. Okay, thanks, everyone. Now, we put a shout out earlier in the month. For a Sherlock's reader who's after a festive makeover uh, with possibly the most festive makeup artist that we know at Sherlock's, the fabulous Lisa Potter Dixon. Kiri's sister put her forward as she had been offered her dream job and wanted to make a good impression at the office Christmas party. Take a look at what happened. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm makeup artist Lisa Potter Dixon and I'm here with my faves at Sheer Lux for a festive party makeover on the beautiful Kiri, who was nominated by her sister Nicola. Hey Kiri. Hey. Tell me about your makeup routine. Are you really good at creating different looks for nights out? No, I'm terrible. I literally put the same thing on for day to night. And I think actually a lot of you guys probably do that because I think it's just easier, right? I'm gonna teach you some really quick and easy tips of how to elevate your look. We're gonna start with brows. I mean, you've got amazing eyebrows but I always start with brows because actually they frame your face and the tip here is you saw how I brushed up the brow that shows you where the gaps are in the eyebrow then you just want to fill those gaps back in and then I'm just brushing them back into place so you can't even see the makeup it just makes your brows look fuller instantly the easiest way to get your makeup right the first time if you're doing a smoky eye is to do your eyes first and then we'll move on to base but I'm actually going to conceal the eyelids first just to even out the area super easy to do get your concealer, chuck it on the eyelids, like so, and blend it in. Okay, so eyeshadows. Tell me about the colours that you would usually wear. I tend to do more browns and nudes. Any glitter? I mean, if I'm going out, I'll do a bit of glitter, yeah. I think festive season is the perfect time yeah. to wear glitter. And actually, there's so many what I would call grown-up glitters out there. We're going to be using one by Victoria Beckham. It's more like a pressed pigment glitter. They're calling it a velvet glitter. First, we're going to even out the eye with just a neutral eye colour. I'm just buffing it backwards and forwards down to the lash line. I just want you guys to look at the difference here. Simply in seconds, by evening out with that concealer, putting this on, blending it through, it already is starting to look a little bit smoky. Next, I'm gonna line the top of the lashes. So I'm actually gonna be using a chocolate brown coal nice. liner. Try and lift your eyebrow a little bit and just go along the lash line like so. Then, usually they've got a little blender on the back and just blend it backwards and forwards. This is gonna make your lashes look thicker, but also it's just gonna, again, add that smokiness. Right, we're gonna go in with the gold. This is the exciting bit. Top tip when you're using any type of pressed glitter pigment is to use a flat brush. If you use a fluffy brush, it's not going to be even on the eye. Start in the centre of the eye and pat it on. This colour on you is amazing. It's like an old gold. I'm now going to take a clean, fluffy eyeshadow brush and just buff in the edges. And it just elevates the look even further. I'm halfway through the eyes and now I'm going to do the base. But first, I'm gonna take a bit of cleansing water on bottom wall and I'm just going to remove anything that's fallen down from underneath the eyes. So a color correct is great, guys, if you have any kind of darkness and you really wanna brighten. When you're doing any sort of concealing or color correcting, make sure you go right down to the top okay. of the cheekbone. Right, we're moving on to foundation. I'm using the Armani Luminous Silk. I just think it's really great for party season. It really stays on the skin. So never put on your foundation feeling like I've got to cover that spot or that pigmentation or whatever it is. That is your concealer's job. Your foundation's job is just to give you this healthy glow. So I'm taking the NARS. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm just going to start by putting it under the eye. This whole side of the face now is very even. But if we hadn't have put that colour corrector on, it wouldn't look like this. You would still be able to see that little bit of darkness coming through. I'm also going to take a bit of concealer just down to this area too, just to brighten. Then I'm taking that brush that I used for the foundation and I'm just going to go back and dust over. The base is complete, apart from bronzer and blusher and highlighter, which we'll add shortly, but we're going back into the eyes now. So this is just going to frame the eyes. You have the most beautiful chocolate brown eyes, so it's just going like, to bring them out so much. Can you guys see straight away how that kind of takes it to even more of a party level? And now what I'm going to do 
is just take a small brush and just blend under the eye slightly. That's gonna draw down the black a little bit. And remember that neutral color that we used at the beginning on the lid? We're now gonna use a little bit of that underneath the eye. It's all about bringing it all together. Remember that brown liner that we did on the top of the lash line? We're gonna now add more of that and then we're gonna add a bit more gold and we're just gonna repeat that until we've got a really great smoky eye. Now we're moving on to mascara and then the eye will be complete. Actually, I'm gonna tell you guys a really good tip. This is a guitar spectrum. Is it called that? Plectrum. These are always in my kit because if you hold it underneath the eye when you're putting your concealer, when your mascara is yeah. on, sorry, it means that the excess that would go under your eye will go on top of this. Don't be afraid to put loads on because it's just going to go on top of that. If you turn it vertically and flick the corner lashes out, it's just going to make your eye shape look bigger as well. Eyes are complete. We're now going to just add a little bit of powder bronzer and I'm just going to take it. I like to take it on the apples or the cheeks. Flick it up and a little bit over the nose. So I just feel it gives a nice sun-kissed finish. And then blusher, which is just the best thing ever. It just brightens straight yeah. away, doesn't it? Use a cream blush. Apples of the cheeks, just blend up slightly. And I'm just gonna add this incredible highlighter, which gives the most beautiful dewy finish on the apples and blend it up. And when you hit the light, it gives this dewy, gorgeous glow to the skin. And to finish, we're doing the lips. And I'm actually gonna keep the lips really neutral. I always find if you've got a smoky eye, yeah. just keep them neutral. So I'm using a lip liner that's really similar to your lip color. I'm gonna go around the edge just to define. I'm just filling in the lip with the liner as well. And then I'm gonna take a clear gloss over the top. Gary's makeup is now complete. And now you're gonna go and see the amazing fashion team who are gonna give you a little bit of glam. Kiri, you haven't seen yourself yet. No, I haven't. You look sensational, I'm sure you all agree. Oh my God, it looks incredible. You look beautiful. Oh my God, I really like the eyes and like how you've done it. That extra bit of glitter as well made a big difference, right? And definitely right? the under eyes, look, it looks so much browner and I think it's the colour corrector. And can we just talk about your suit? I yeah. feel like you've been in my wardrobe. I know, we're matching <laughs> technically. Where's it from? At Zara, at the full outfit Zara. Oh my God, it looks so great. Thank you so much thank for you. letting us do this makeover for okay. you. And thank you to all of you for watching. God, she looked so amazing. Beautiful. What, amazing. So stunning. What a good job uh, by Lisa. So we thought we would, when, when it comes to deep and meaningful reflection, we thought we had to talk about beauty finds of the year. <laughs> um, what, what have you found this year that has changed your life? Laura, you've been sat, oh no, you've moved it, but you were sat uncomfortably it. on a hairbrush before. So <laughs> I'll let you go first. Everyone what was your big find? I was putting of expensive treatments and <laughs> stuff like that. And I am thrilled with my new hairbrush which I found on Amazon for under £10. Wow. I have very fragile, fine hair. Mm, same. And I've always used, well, all the, you know, the tangle teasers, mm. the, and I love them. But then I discovered this, and it is so gentle oh. so on your hair. It's called a Kaya Cat, Kaya with Cat, a K. And yeah, I just love it. Okay. Is there something about, do we know anything about, is it I don't know, it's kind of vented. I don't know, it's bristle, it's got a ball bristle. Okay. Um, so it so gets your it, tangles out, but, but just it doesn't... probably gets your tangles out. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay. I need to get one of those. It's so good. Well, maybe, you know, one for Christmas, under 10 pounds. There you go. Yeah, it's Something a good one. Okay. I really Noted. highly recommend, particularly if you have quite Fragile hair, like me. Thank you. Billy, what was your big beauty find of the year? Um, Tatcha launched in the UK this year, and that I feel like I'm obsessed with every product. Okay. The hydrating mist is amazing. Mm -hmm. Just when you need like a little bit of glow. Mm. And also, just, you know, you just wash your face and then you kind of feel like it's like mm. you just that give it a spritz and then mm. put your products on. Um, but the water cream and the, yeah, if you're going to buy two things, I would say get mm. the water cream. And the hydrate the hydrating spray. Okay, good. I've tried either of those. Yeah, really good. Good tip, Polly. Um, I've gotten to Skin Suiticals this mm. year, which is it's an expensive habit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's a real shame. I'm now locked in. You know, when you get onto something really good, yeah, you're, and you're like, done. Damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, they're all amazing. I feel like it's really helped my skin. Particularly, I think my ride or die would be the CE Furolic, which yeah. is just. So good. I feel like, so Lou put me onto it and she was like, it's amazing. And I think I tried it like two days later. I was like, I actually, I feel like my face looks better. I texted her being like, is this placebo? And she's like, no, no, I genuinely think yeah. after like a couple of days. So it is pricey, but it goes so far because you literally need like two yeah. or three drops. And okay. I've had mine for like six months and it's still going. So okay. Okay. great. It's worth it. Yeah. How about you, Charlotte? So I, I'm just sitting here trying really hard to remember the name of my product. So it's a Dr. Jart. <laughs> it's called something Tiger. 
something. I'm so sorry. We're going to link it below. Um, but it's basically a correcting serum. So it's a bright green. Uh, they're bright green droplets that you basically just use to color correct before you oh, apply wow. your foundation. Oh, and cool. it makes all the difference. The green obviously cancels out the red in your... So mm. any red... So you kind put of, it before your yeah, foundation. Yeah. So after skincare, before foundation, a couple of Ooh. drops. Um, I filmed my makeup routine for Chillax this morning. So you can... You'll see, you'll see it all there. <laughs> and um, yeah, it just it's just like a really lightweight kind of water-based serum. Um, but it just takes away all redness. I love it. Um, and then also Stella McCartney's skincare range. I am oh, using really? like obsessively. I absolutely love it. It comes in. It's all obviously incredibly eco-friendly. Um, it comes in kind of uh, refillable jars, and then kind of this. I'm going to explain it really badly. They're like glass <laughs> refillables, and then you take out the plastic in kind of that's yeah. recyclable, and yeah. it's got the product in that. Anyway, so you can keep refilling them. Basically, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, I've used the whole range. I love it. Um, all right, it is the last BTS of the year now, and it is it's a goodie. Yeah. Uh, it is a day with none other than Laura Black. Take a look. <laughs> Laura. Good morning, Al. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How was your trip? Tell me everything. Oh, so I'm fresh back from New York for the weekend, which was just so dreamy. Oh my god, well you would know. You've just been. We did everything. Did a lot of shopping. Did the Rockefeller, did Fifth Avenue, we did Karen Bradshaw's house, we did Friends, Venture Park, like average 30,000 steps a day. It's amazing. I came back feeling very like warm, full and lucky. It's lovely. Well, we're doing your day in the life today. Yeah, here we are. So what have we got planned? I mean, I, I've sort of cleared my emails, but I've also been at a nativity this morning for my daughter and they're quite full again. So I'm going to quickly clear those up. Then I've got the show. Then I feel like I need to do a quick check-in with the content team and the emails and editorial because I missed our kind of big planning meeting on a Monday yesterday. And I think this afternoon we might go exploring and find some Christmas gifts. I haven't done much shopping recently, so I think we should go and do a bit more. Show topics. Okay, so we have got... 2022 fashion hot products which I feel needs a little bit of thought from me although I did just before I went this was on in the office the other day everyone was getting quite excited and I thought I, I don't don't need it don't need it anyway I bought it it's from Ray <laughs> it's a hood feel it oh my god that's that amazing so nice. anyway I took it to New York with me and it was so cold out there so I'm so pleased with it so I might talk about that you see what these are so it's Christmas party tomorrow as well. I'm a bit stressed about what I'm wearing to the Christmas party. I do have some silver trousers, but I'm not sure what I'm going to wear. By Alona, I love this brand so much. Oh my god, I love these earrings so much. I'll make them in. They've got the little sparkly bit too. Oh my god, they are gorgeous. Two things. Oh my god, how amazing are those? Right, I'm going to put those in. Are they good? Yeah. Great! Am I going to go and check them out? Yes. What are you wearing for the show today? My Isabel jumper, which I toyed with for so long and I finally made the purchase. Some H&M jeans and some mango boots. Um, Polly Sayer? Yeah? I heard a rumour going around that you're hosting the show today. Rumours are true, Eloise. <laughs> Not to get like two Oscar speech about it, but it has been like on my list of goals for a while and it feels kind of like cool to be able to to do it. Hopefully I don't fuck it up. Oh, what are you wearing for the show today? Uh, so I'm wearing a Vanessa Bruno cardigan, some heist leggings and some Massimo Duty boots. Hello, how are you? Good to meet you, Riley. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is my first time hosting the show, so I'm really sorry if I'm like, Stop, start. Yeah, this and is my first time doing anything like this. Ooh, yeah. yeah. So, Laura's an old hand, so I'm an old hand. Hey! Not the yeah, ring, but I missed the show. She's been, she's been on the panel for years, so. Okay. <laughs> can't make a choice of words. It's not sounding good, is it? <laughs> it's not okay. ancient. She's not getting anxious. She's going to be She really needs to move on. <laughs> ah, you won't okay. be. Okay. Ready. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, um, tits and teeth. Tits and teeth. Tits and teeth. Okay. There's not much going on in the tits. Teeth and legs. Teeth and legs. Hello, I'm Polly Sayer and this is The She Luck Show. Party season is, we're in full swing, aren't we? I tried the, is it called Zuki? And I just literally never wore them. I just think they look awful on me. Yeah. Oh, I have a Got only end out. Amazing. Thank you for your patience, I really appreciate it. Nailed it. Finally, you're brilliant. Well done. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I 
again, that's a bit, then maybe her legs are going to one leg. So that one? Yeah, I think that one. Hi Laura, what are you doing now? No. We are just looking at uh, no, that's right, Thursday's email. So we're just looking at the design of some boxes and changing some product. We've got two jackets in there, let's yes. chill. Let's keep the seat and change the colours of the sun. Now I'm just going to duck my head into the gold meeting. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, I thought of something. Glasses. Oh, I've that's done a good glasses one. for a while. As in reading glasses? Reading yeah. glasses. Yeah, yeah I'll pop that. And then maybe we could do like glasses strings or something yeah. again yeah. at some point yeah. in glasses cases, but I thought we haven't done that for a while. Cool, I'll leave you to it. it. Okay, so now we're going to talk community boards with Georgie and Maya and Charlotte, and then Charlotte and I have got to catch up as well. We're running an editorial oh, line. <laughs> 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 about having some form of a takeover on the platform itself so for example Charlotte would log on and say I'm Charlotte Pollard, let's say I'll be I'll be taking over the SL community this thread today. How does that look when you land on that because you're just gonna have you can't prevent people posting other threads. Can we manually go to the top? Yeah. yeah. So I'd say it's sticky at the top. Yeah, we can do that. Pack. I want to talk about the Christmas break plan with community and like what that is. So I wonder whether I need an alias. <laughs> whether it should just be SL community manager says or something. But I haven't given out. I know like Sarah suddenly a very active Christmas break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you absolutely it's should wear it. She's never active. She's very opinionated. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, who is she? <laughs> Sarah needs to enjoy Christmas. <laughs> Sarah needs to get alive and get up again. You <laughs> think she's still going? Let's crack on. Um... So all the meetings done. Where are we off to? Meetings done. We are going to go and head to Liberty to check out a few of their gifts for Christmas. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Oh my god, it's freezing! Do you do much shopping in like in person these days? Do you know what? I do like to go occasionally. I always feel I mean it's so much easier to buy online. But at this time of year, delivery. And I would at this time of year like to be in a slightly more organised place than I'm currently in, so I'm hoping we might go and find a few prezies to tick off the list. Right. Okay, we made it to Oxford Street. Look at the Lights. I haven't seen them yet this year. Do you find anything in stories? We could have a look. Don't get distracted by nice knits. Nice, nice. <laughs> That's really nice. It would fit nicely as well with the trousers. So sweet, where are you with some nice little Chanel pumps? That's fun. Just with black jeans, actually. Love that. It's like a little subtle nod to it. I think no luck. Onwards we go. Sweet little tiny jewellery box. Oh god, my girls would love that. These are always really fun for the wall. I do think that is so pretty. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my god, imagine sitting down to a table underneath here. Wow. Oh look, that for the lady that has everything. That is so beautiful. Stationery, should we have a quick look? The green roasting tin, that sounds delicious. I know this one, the original roasting tin, is a real bestseller. I know loads of people that swear by it. Do you know what? My daughter's suddenly got really into fashion. She might quite like this. And Frida Kahlo, that's another one that's really nice. Yeah, I might get those for the girls. Oh, is that a good stocking filler for my husband, maybe? Okay, three presents down. I quite like him for myself. I love the idea of these on a shelf with neutral colour books. How pretty is that? That's lovely. I also love these Anna and Nina plates. In my house, we love a butter dish. And I think, again, it's not the kind of thing you'd ever buy yourself. If you have like a tricky mother-in-law, these jugs are so beautiful. They're beautiful. three wick base that's what I'd like to open on 
Christmas morning. A Liberty cracker on Christmas Day, yes please. They're 14 quid. This is what you get in here. Ah, is that what it is? No, that can't be right. For 14 quid? That's amazing. Trouble is, now we do Secret Santa, I don't have that many girls to buy for. Who have you got to? I've got my brother-in-law. There's obviously a, only a certain ways that the Secret Santa can work, because I've had him about four times. Oh, wow. Oh my God, that's cool. That is a party season jacket. It's like really padded. So is that, she knows how to do a party dress. God, I love that. Which one, Elle? You can have that one, I'll have this one. It's got Charlotte Collins written all over it, hasn't it? They're pretty mega, aren't they? They're really cool. Kurt Geiger. Dear Father Christmas. That's really lovely. Love it with the turned up sleeves as well. That's cute. Love that. Should we go down to men? Oh my God, it's huge, okay. Uh, oh, that's a nice colour. My husband can do with that. Chill out. Where <laughs> does this? Reigns. That's really nice. He actually would like some new trainers. I find trainers quite hard for men. They're nice, so. Oh, that's good. Cowboy grass. Are they unisex? Oh my gosh, these are really nice. What is this brand? Heather buys these every year. They do air, like car air fresheners, DS and Durga. That is a good gift. And how much are those? That is such a good gift. Okay, should we do a little bit of food? I'm such a sucker for branding like that, but that looks so yummy. Salted caramel or white? What do you reckon? You get salted caramel. That's not buying a gift though, is it? That's buying a gift for us. <laughs> a sweet jelly made from beer. That is good for my brother-in-law. I might get him that. An ale chutney. Should I get him one of each? Okay, I think let's get those. I feel like my children would like to open these. I'm probably about to spend about 15 pounds on a bottle of cola bottles, but. Christmas is here. That's so lovely. Isn't it? Can't be doing it right. I think we have had a successful day. Should we try that chocolate? Delicious. That is so good. Oh my god, that is so good. That is amazing. How is that vegan? What a win. That's the best thing you've <laughs> that, That's worth going to Liberty for. That is absolutely delicious. Yummy. Well, that was so fun. Thank you for coming with me. Happy Christmas. Bye bye. bye. Laura, that was honestly so much fun. Did you have did you have as good a time at Liberty as it looked like you did? Does anybody not go no, to Liberty? It's, <laughs> no, it's just my favourite place. Yeah, it's so, heavy. You yeah. said you're gonna blitz Billy your uh, Christmas shopping there. I'm just I'm just not organised enough to have done my Christmas shopping before and I just feel like that's the best. You can do one stop shop. Yeah. 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 You can, you can. Yeah, it'll cost you, but you can. <laughs> um, I mean, speaking of gifts, we thought we couldn't end the year without, without a little secret Santa. So I've got a, the elves have delivered a pile of gifts here. So I'm going to hand them out. That says Polly on it. Thank this you. This says Billy. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. This is, this is for me. <laughs> and this is for Laura. So we have, we Ooh. were by, uh, no, what's her name? San secret Santa Queen Hodge has handed out our, our name, so no one actually knows who their secret Santa I mean, basically, I'm explaining Secret Santa. We've done Secret Santa. <laughs> Polly, do you want to go ahead and open your oh, Secret Santa gift? Oh, pressure. I was saying to Florence before I came down here, she was like, I really hate to open presents in front of people because of the pressure. I'm like, yes, no, it's I thought of you the same. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, and what is it? <laughs> okay, so what this is, is what was jingling. Polly, it's not for you. Oh, it's for Barry! It's for Barry! <laughs> I love it! I was like, for me? Okay. It's not really my life. For <laughs> Barry, so definitely. I love that is it. Stunning. Yeah. Genuinely stunning. Thank He's you so much. Um, Santa. Yeah, also, I feel like it. quite handy to know exactly where he is because I could do with a bell on my dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He'll be wearing that on Christmas oh, Day. So, 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 so chic. Oh, 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 it's not for you. In you go. <laughs> I'm like, um, 
I'm not one of those like patient and rappers that yeah. like, no, yeah, no, yeah, really goes for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, we should say, we said, I think it was £15 our limit, is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We've got double wrapping. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was good. <laughs> I've done again. This is lovely, baby. It's like past the box, oh, wasn't it? Christ. <laughs> it's a box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, 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 that's really good. Really good. Okay. We're not really strangers. So I don't know if you know this game, but they're like, it's, it's a bit of a viral one, but I feel like, you know, you're, you've got a lot of friends and stuff, <laughs> but this game is something you play with your mates, always family, and it's a way to kind of build deeper connections with your loved ones because oh, you find that. out different things about them and I think you got to pick a card something can be really trivial or it can be quite deep so they're like yeah. they're like questions aren't they like trigger, yeah, yeah, yeah. trigger, trigger conversation, conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, that quite deep that's ones. an amazing present they that's were playing it on the Selena content. Gomez um, documentary if you've seen it exactly I also yeah. just love a game at Christmas so this is yeah. like yeah. good gift Polly well I see it was from you it's from Santa Laura you'll go Oh, the suspense. This is I'm your same sound, just FYI. <laughs> I can see what it is. She Do knows you know me is? well. <laughs> she knows me well. So th this started, this was going Ooh. to be for your feet, but then... Oh, oh my God. No, but Laura, gosh. do you know what it is? Yes, yeah, for your hands. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so good. Is that quite good? Story, do you, I don't know what I was going to say to you on to tell. Laura gets very cold hands and feels the effects of it quite hardly. I have been known to have some chill blains recently, oh. so this is great. Oh. That's very I'm thoughtful. not 85, but I might look it. No, but anyway, there you go. Hopefully, that'll warm I love this. You're Thank you so much. Oh, oh, my I might do. I'm very thoughtful with fifteen pounds. That is heaven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> which, which first? Um, maybe the little one and then okay. the big one. I'm excited. You're right. Opening presents in front of people. Like when we used, when Sherlock's used to be smaller, we would do Secret Santa. And do you remember we would go around at the whole office and open our presents oh, yeah. one by one? Oh, wow. oh my that god! That is also yeah, a lot of pressure. And if you were new. Yes, yeah, so oh, much pressure. pressure. Oh, yeah, I feel like I'm benefiting from our beauty director who's yeah. been leaving her yeah. job. Let me see. What <laughs> An Eve Lom cleanser. Oh, oh with a stunning. I love a muslin. Excellent. If you're on a night Thank away, you. then it's just like quite handy. Yes, and it's and it in. doubles as a book. I can even hang it on. Yeah. <laughs> hang it on my tree. Excellent. Thank you. This feels like. Ca I feel like I just broke something in there. <laughs> this feels like candles. Which I kind of hope it is candles, isn't it? Yeah, love yeah. so dinner that's candle. Very thoughtful oh. because <laughs> they're not they're not going to survive this. Oh girl, Charlotte loves Oh my god, this game. these are actually this is actually a, the best possible. Oh, oh, oh my so god, nice. thank you so much. Oh, oh, she's 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 necessary. Necessary. Well. I know not. So she's talking so about so this is so thoughtful. Yeah, well done. You really, you really loved that. Love that. Oh, really? smashed it. Oh, okay, glad. God, they went down well. Guys, well done, everyone. <laughs> that was yeah. fun. Real. So that's it for today. Thank you so much to Billy, Laura, and Polly, and of course to Anna, Sherry, Heather, and Lisa. Uh, what a fun show. The most perfect way to end 2022. Thank you all so much for all of your support and for watching this year. We appreciate each and every one of you and cannot wait to see what next year will bring. So the only thing left to say is Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and have a wonderful time celebrating whatever you're doing. And we'll see you in 2023. Bye-bye.